What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill. And we're experimenting with a different page protector today. Ooh, hands up if you like these page protectors. I am going to be honest with you. I don't. I, I think it's just because I've gotten so comfortable with the typical Design A page protector with the vertical, with the horizontal 4x6s, sorry. And... I just don't know how to do these ones. So I thought I'd challenge myself. Uh, this particular week, I had quite a few vertical 4x6 photos that I really loved uh, that I didn't want to print just as 3x4s. I wanted to make them a bit bigger. And so I thought I would give this a go. I have quite a few uh, different page protectors in my stash. I have to admit, when I first started Project Life in 2013... Uh, I bought all the page protectors. I bought as many as I could get. Uh, and my first few albums, I have, I think my 2014 albums, uh, the flip throughs for those, I think are on YouTube. The rest of the years, like 15, no, not 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 are all on my Patreon account. Um, but when I first started Project Life, you can see in those that first flip through, I did use a lot of different page protectors, but now I don't. And I'd love to know what your approach is to Project Life. Do you use the same page protector? If so, which one is it? And or do you branch out? And are you a bit adventurous? I um, I just find that I get a bit rusty, and I because it is quite different to. Uh, design a composition for a, a vertical space instead of a horizontal space so this little photo I did want I didn't want all of the photos from this page to be the same size so I did print this one smaller and I'm just creating a little uh, embellishment cluster down here uh, we went on a drive we, we like to get out on the weekend even if we just duck to the shops or a park just somewhere where this little guy can run his little heart out and um, get out all of his energy. And so I printed this photo and matted it on my white cardstock as always. And I thought I'd try this sticker sheet that I've been trying to use up. Uh, it's, it's a travel themed one. And these photos are taken in 20, this is the end of my 2019 album. Uh, so we're, we're catching up, it's pre everything that's going on in the world days and so we could travel we could go out and about but we're not really travelly people and so I don't have a lot of travel photos so I'm trying to use that sticker sheet um, for just you know weekend outings uh, and it's I'm getting through it getting through it slowly that hello weekend came from an older Heidi Swap sticker sheet which you can see there on the right oh the dog next door is barking Okay, I took a short break while Rocky got out all of his barks next door. We have uh, this ginormous Rottweiler that lives next door. And I was a bit nervous when we moved to this house because I was a bit worried he was going to make voiceovers a bit fun and uh, scare the kids a little bit. But he is so sweet and he doesn't bark. bark sorry, he doesn't bark. We share a, um, a driveway with a few houses and he doesn't bark when... Um, our car comes home which is really good he only barks when there's someone whose car he doesn't recognize so it's it's very handy and Violet is in love with him every time we go out the front door she's eagerly seeking him down and waving and going woof 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 I wouldn't be surprised if she learns how to say Rocky before she learns how to say Archie because she loves him that much back on track with the page uh, so this is just another expression from Archie of that same pose and I wanted to I had this sticker um, there's a sticker sheet from Pink Fresh it is their stay home collection that's what it is I think or maybe it's the boyish one that they had around the same time it's a Pink Fresh sticker sheet and I'm trying to use it up and uh, it had music is the strongest form of magic and I thought that was the perfect sticker to use for this photo because Archie loves music he loves rocking out to a tune inventing his own dance moves and uh, we also our the sliding doors on our uh, car on our minivan are electronic so that we can open them from the driver's seat we can just press a button 
and Archie doesn't know that we can do that and so whenever he wants to open the door when we arrive somewhere he goes magic and the doors mysteriously open and Violet has started you know saying gibberish to open the doors as well which is really cute Uh, so I thought that that sticker was very appropriate because we always listen to some cartoons and there's a whole lot of magic that goes on in the car so for this one I had that hey beautiful sticker which I didn't end up using on this page but I did use on a different one I'm not sure if that video is up yet it might already be up Uh, but it was just too big and I didn't want to chop off part of the design and so I was look I was in a real sticker mood when I made this page (laughs) sometimes you just get in different moods for different uh, like different types of products and I was feeling the stickers and I was also trying to use up uh, that's a pink fresh sticker sheet from the stay home collection and there's not many stickers on it but the problem is a lot of the stickers that are left on it are quite niche I would say uh, like video chat and binge watching and things like that so I'm keeping it on hand that particular particular sheet and every project life page that I'm doing I'm looking at it to see if anything can fit in with that week and I thought that this uh, family dinner was quite an appropriate one to use because uh, she's helping Aaron feed Violet her bottle Uh, and so I thought that it was technically a family dinner (laughs) Uh, so that's my challenge for you for this week is choose a sticker sheet that you've had a bit of trouble using up because some of the either the phrases or some of the icons are a little specific and keep it on your desk if you want to extra challenge yourself choose three sticker sheets that you've used and pop them on your desk either in a little container or you know just peg them together so that you can easily flip through them and every single time you do a project for the next month look at those three sticker sheets first to see what you can use up before you reach for your favorite supplies before you reach for that new fantastic shiny thing that you just purchased look at those three sticker sheets first um, just to try and get some stuff moving in your stash so for this one I didn't oh I finished a pack of enamel dots and I did a little happy dance there I've got these few packets of enamel dots that I've also been keeping on my desk uh, to try and use up look peeps I even used a green one feeling brave today those green ones will definitely be the the last ones left on that sheet though I'll have to maybe I'll do a green archy page to try and get them used up now these type of cards this one here are ones that I definitely don't use often Uh, the four by six vertical journaling card now I find that when you buy the core kits for Project Life, there's a lot of them in there. And so I seem to have accumulated them over the years. I have de-stashed quite a few and I have a, I have a giant box of Project Life cards that I have to box up and um, package into little de-stash kits. Actually, would that, would that be something you peeps would be interested in? A little like de-stash boxes for really cheap with a few little supplies in them uh, that I'm no longer using or I've had doubles of uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments I could do a little a little inky d stash type thing Um, and where would be best to put them I guess I could put the post up here or I could put it on my website I don't know let me know your thoughts Um, but this one I decided to just list six things that I was loving right now Uh, so like I said these photos are over a year old but we're getting there slowly and I really love the way that there's that journaling to break up how this page looks and I think that's the trick to making these page protectors work is they do need a pocket that has some journaling or is just a filler card because I just I don't know what it is about the size just gets a bit overwhelming with all the photos so that's my tip if you've got these page protectors try and pop a journaling card in and see if you like it all right peeps please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next week bye